Namaskar. I have with me Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka, Dr. Ashwad Narayan, an energetic man. Uh, he's do, doing a lot in the IT sector. Sir, uh, welcome to Nashya Mandras. Sir, uh, after the lockdown, uh, certain sections of IT and BT have opened and you had a meeting with the Hawaii people where you are going to train more than 2,000 students. Can you please highlight on that? Uh, since uh, the IT BT sector, constantly the, the way the things have been done, it's been changing. New emerging areas, relevant areas are coming up. So to keep pace with the relevant and emerging areas, we need to collaborate with the relevant industry and a strong collaboration between the academia and the industry is very essential and the cost factor, the technology and it's ever evolving and particularly IT is a, always it keeps evolving uh, it, the changes keeps happening every second, every day, every minute so in this direction we need to collaborate with all the emerging or the technologies with the companies which have been adapting or promoting the latest technology. UI has been into particularly 5G and artificial intelligence, many more areas. Particularly artificial intelligence, they have came out with two proposals. One is the fundamental training and the screw, uh, screw uh, uh, training. Uh, uh, skewed training and the skewed. It is a short term training which uh, Basically, it is going to cater into the short-term training and we, they were willing to train more than 2,000 people. So, we told it's a good initiative was provided and that made sure that, that made sure that COVID and non-COVID patients were not mixed up and it didn't give much of scope for the spreading of more disease. And along with this, many more infrastructure, people kits, masks, kits, many things were not there. All these things we were able to you know, produce, develop, invent everything in the state of Karnataka and India. It's by doing so, we are able to address the challenge of what is been what we are facing because of the COVID-19. So, what about the challenges faced by the migrants? How well did your government take challenges? Because the opposition is blaming that you are not doing a uh, job, then they came up with giving a check of one crore rupees. And then they said they are doing everything. So you, being a deputy chief minister, you are one of the most uh, sort of the man, and you are looking to see this operation. How did you tackle the migrant issue, and how even still how many migrants are there? What steps are you taking? See, one of the the best days where everything with regard to the migrants, outflow of migrants or inflow of migrants, everything was effectively mapped. It was systematically managed. And it is through a portal, online mechanism, we were able to trace everything, track, connect with the different states where the migrants wanted to go back to their respective states. We were able to contact them. We were, before that, even during this, before and during this, we provided them lax particular people with ready food, ration, healthcare, shelter, all possible things were done. Not only just government, entire community reached out to all these people and made sure even they didn't go hungry and they were not denied of any facility all the facility was provided to them they are proud that the people of Karnataka did their best and people of Karnataka also did their best and we said uh, situation where we have to discharge our duty which we have done responsibly we have discharged between the outside the people who have come from outside the Karnataka and people who are inside the Karnataka from different districts, even they were taken care and they were ensured they could go back to their respective places. They were all provided transport, money, incentives, package, all possible things, even handling, enforcing, everything went on well. Yes, here and there, some people want to, you know, pass. They, even they want to score some points, they want to do something, they want to contribute. That is, they want to express themselves, they also care for them. It's not that because somebody wants to contribute, somebody wants to do something, doesn't mean government has not been. Even they are inclined to do something for the people. So which we said we are welcome. Nothing wrong with If you are interested to help people, all are working in one direction. When the vaccine is going to develop, based on the vaccine development, the virus has to be stable. If the virus keeps mutating, then every year we have to take new vaccine. Every year we need to get vaccinated. 
and become difficult. So over the time, probably the virulity of the virus is reduced. And until that, medicine is developed, uh, therapeutics are developed, or uh, vaccine is developed. Until then, the things will continue. Once in our environment, if the virus comes naturally, if it is a man-made, then it will go out. If it is a natural virus, it will stay. Sir, now Ramzan festival is there. <laughs> As our Muslim brothers and sisters have been celebrating the Ramadan uh, festival holy month with all the sincerity, devotion, and I wish all of them a very happy holy month and a happy Eid, 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 Mubarak. Uh, Eid Mubarak and uh, Ramzan. Uh, I wish all my brothers and sisters once again a Eid Mubarak and we celebrate and this year you've been celebrating with all the simplicity and fully understanding the challenges and you have been caring a lot for all the fellow citizens and with uh, this festival you have voluntarily you have decided that you need to celebrate very in a simple way I congratulate all of you uh, being so nice and good in this particular situation. I once again congratulate on all of you on behalf of the government of Karnataka and the people of Karnataka. Deputy Chief Minister Rashwat Narayan said that Hawaii Technologies Company, which has come to Bangalore, would be training more than 2,000 students in, in artificial intelligence and the process started. The lockdown was a, uh, has not affected the IT industry so much because most of the IT people are working from home. He also said the migrant issues, the Karnataka government has handled the issue very well and all the migrants have been given food, shelter and they have been sent to their respective uh, places. He also wished the Muslim brethren on the eve of eve and he thanked them following the rules and regulations. That is one Asad, Nashaman News, Bangalore.